Wow. <laughs> this is one of the, gotta be one of the fucking craziest things I have ever experienced in my life, man. This has gotta be one of the craziest fucking videos I'm ever gonna make, ever. And it took a while for me to figure out. Check the view. There's people wilding out on their boats over there. But anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> Just like the title says, listen man, I have to let you guys know about this because this is some fucking crazy shit, man. I wasn't even gonna do this, but I don't have a choice, man, because when 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 there's when there's fucking forces out there that are, that are trying to infiltrate me and have infiltrated me successfully which has never happened actually in my entire life my entire life i was smart enough to not get infiltrated by anybody that was trying to infiltrate you know because i grew up in the street i real i seen how the sharks move i seen how the shit works you know and i grew up as a criminal i grew up learning in my head how the fuck can i infiltrate everything to benefit from it you know what i mean it's a survival tactic but for some you know it's not about survival for me it was about survival that's the reason why i had to infiltrate people and infiltrate things to fucking get things that i needed to survive you know it's a fucking uh what, what's the saying dog eat dog world or some shit like it really fucking is man you're out there swimming with the sharks and if you're not a shark you're gonna get ate bro you know what i mean so that's how it really is but anyways so I got infiltrated by a female gang stalker that claimed to be a targeted individual. And this, I'm telling you, is fucking crazier than you f could possibly even imagine right now. Alright, so listen, this female <clears throat> approached me, hit me up. She's got all kinds of different names. She has fucking changes her social media every fucking three days, changes her fucking passwords on her phone three times a day when I was around her. She claimed to want to, like, be in a relationship with me and, like, uh, like want to build a life with me and wanting to, you know, um, live off the land with me. Like, she talked about having a family, like, you know what I mean? And she was like... I watched all your videos, me and you are exactly the same, like I know, she's like, I know for a fact that you're the one pretty much, like, you know what I mean? And she kept switching her, her shit around, like she hit me like that, like I was even saying like, I'm not interested in a relationship right now, I feel like, you know, right now is not a good time, blah, blah, blah. she's like, okay, well, you know, like, let's just hang out and I bought you Jordans. Once I said that, she's like, I bought you Jordans. She's like, I bought us both Jordans. Jays, shoes. These are the fucking ones right here that I'm wearing right now. These are the ones that she bought me, okay? So take this in. This is fucking mind-blowing. Who the fuck does that, bro? Nobody does that. You know what I'm saying? That shit don't happen. You know what I mean? So before she even met me, before she even talked to me, she bought me fucking Jordans. Matching Jordans. She had a pair as well. But that was her way of infiltrating me. Because she's seen I was a fucking rapper too. That's what got her. That's where she was like, oh, how am I going to infiltrate this targeted individual? What's more information that I can get on this person so I can, you know, like, you know, earn their trust, right? Befriend them. Because you know how hard it is to fucking infiltrate a targeted individual. It's pretty fucking hard when we know there's fucking multiple forces trying to infiltrate us at all fucking times. You know what I mean? And we're used to this shit, man. Like, we know that nobody's out for our best interest. You know what I mean? So anyways... Bro, so this chick, so, tried, is hard deal. She harassed me, harassed me, harassed me. I was hanging up on her, blocking her, everything. Like, I was like, bro, like, okay, I don't want to get too carried away. I want to do a step by step and actually explain this shit. But, yo, listen, man. I resisted at the beginning. You know, I wasn't interested, blah, blah, blah. She fucking tried, 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 tried. And then one time she, we were on the phone and she broke down crying. She's like, oh, I want to love you and bring love into your life and support you and blah, 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 and this and this and that. And, you know, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yo, I don't take free things or offerings from people because that's how the devil comes, bro. It comes in an innocent form wanting to help you, bro. Who, why do you want to help me, man? Like, you know what I mean? Okay, but in the same day, I have a heart, you know what I mean? And I'm not going to fucking deny somebody that wants to bring love into my life or be a part of my life. I'm, you know, I'm not... I've been single. I was single for three years. So, I'm 27 years old. I'm like, well, maybe it's fucking time that I, you know, maybe try 
try to open up, you know, and, and it's hard when you're a target individual, you know what I mean? Is, you can't trust people, you know? People have, you know, alternative fucking hidden motives and agendas, bro. And this just proves, man, there was nether levels that I have not even been introduced to my fucking self, man. And I'm a wise fucking person. Like I said, I came from the streets. I've seen it all. And this one I have not seen. So I got to warn you guys. Jay LaRoche. That's what she goes by, all right? So listen, she's a rapper and a singer. She does this with all the fucking rappers that are targeted individuals. Even just rappers in general. She's like a groupie. She goes after all the rapper boys. And I know this for a fact. I seen her phone. I seen the people that she follows and and shit that she likes and all the rappers in Toronto, fucking, you know what I mean? New Market area, shit like that. All the way to Hamilton, all the way to Nova Scotia. She was out in fucking Nova Scotia. Of course, these fucking idiots gotta be fucking birds right now with their fucking boats driving around in circles in front of me. It's <laughs> more fucking gang stalking. Just kidding, but yo. Uh, anyway, so yeah. Um, so she, we end up hanging out. She brought the Jordans. We went for a drive. Right away, this like this like this chick was saying all types of. She was trying to fucking program me. She was trying to reprogram me and program me to submit to her, uh, so that way I would be easy to deal with. And I'm not easy to deal with, especially when you're trying to manipulate or program me in such a way. Uh, you know, and I can identify that and I'm wondering what the fuck is going on here And then she's just going off and off and off and like just stressing me the fuck out right away Like she's a ball of stress. She's fucking driving. We're in her car. She's fucking like all over the fucking place I don't know how she's not fucking dead yet from dry. She is a fucking rattled. She is rattled um, I found out so many things about her man. I found out that she she intentionally involves herself in people's lives to fucking seek out information so she can infiltrate that relationship and fucking uh, destroy people turn people against each other she was talking to married men in her fucking inbox and i seen it i found it she deleted most of the shits but i found it yo and it was a tattoo artist in toronto i'm not gonna fucking say his name you know what i mean i already kind of fucking did my thing with that reached out to a couple of people and shit i mean you know it's not good man like you know especially when it comes to marriages you don't want to you know but at the same time uh, the reason, you know, I'll get into that. There's going to be a part two, a part three, and a part four of this shit. Because I can't fit all this shit in one video, man. This is fucking insane. She was talking to married, uh, married man, m multiple married men, in her fucking inbox. Hearts, winky faces. Oh, we'll continue this tomorrow, sweetheart. It was completely out of line. It was completely inappropriate. And she was like, oh, well, they were having problems in their marriage. And, and, the, and the, the wife wanted to, you know, uh, get me to talk to her husband. And she's like, I fix marriages, you know, I help people, I help marriages. I'm like, what the fuck? That's sick, bro. Like, in my head, oh my god. Like, this bitch, literally, I fucking cried tears because of how disgusting and dark and how fucking sick this bitch is in her life and, and everything involved in it. She is a fucking tool to infiltrate people's lives, turn people against each other, and fucking destroy people, make people want to kill themselves. There was a fucking guy that she knew that... Uh, I seen a picture of and I said who's that and she's like oh he was my friend he killed himself and she starts like crying for like two seconds and then stops crying like just suddenly and I'm like what the fuck it all made sense after she fucking makes people kill themselves bro she infiltrates people but she gets paid she fucking spent over like four thousand dollars in three weeks that I was with her and I'm not fucking exaggerating bro I am not exaggerating she sent me six hundred dollars in fucking e-transfers every day a hundred dollars a day i don't know why she just she was just doing it you know what i mean and she's like here let me send you money for this and you can go grab that and i'm like no that's not necessary she's like yeah it is let me do that i'm like okay bam and then it just kept going every day you know what i mean and bro i don't take shit from people especially money especially fucking anything free you don't take offerings from people man you go and get your own shit you earn your own fucking shit you know what i mean don't even take advantage and, and and my intent was not to take advantage she infiltrated my heart and made me think that it was out of love and god she said god sent me here to put shoes on your feet because jesus loved feet blah 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 yeah yeah she used god and everything man M meanwhile she's fucking married men talking to them in in in, the, in her inbox and inappropriately 
and telling me that she used to do wedding events and shit like that. Yeah, she used to plan wedding events and her friend, she was talking shit about her friend that gave her a job doing these wedding events. And she's saying, oh, well, she gets all the big money and I don't get nothing. So I fucking blah, blah, blah. You know what? You know what she started doing? She started infiltrating the fucking marriages, bro, for fucking money, man. That's exactly what she started doing. Because she wasn't getting paid enough helping plan the fucking weddings. Then, she, you know what she does? She makes friends with the bride and the husband and shit, right? And then she fucking acts like a friend, like a support unit. And then that's how she infiltrates the relationships. She did it with, uh, with she did it with me, but with uh, my cousin-in-law and some of my friends and shit like that. She fucking went and uh, seeked out information about them. Only shit that me and them would know. She doesn't even didn't even know about them. It was because I told her about them, the music that we make, you know, the relationship that we had in the past, you know, as friends and you know what I mean, like music and all that shit. And she infiltrated. She fucking sucked all this information out of me intentionally, pretending it was out of love and care, out of understanding to understand me better. And then she was plotting this whole fucking thing the whole time. And there's literally like some fucking snake or some shit that just literally came out of the fucking water right there, and it's really fucked up. Like, it literally looks like some fucking monster or some shit, like... Sorry, I don't want to get off track, but that really fucking tripped me out. And, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, so... I'm going off like this because I'm trying to get this all on, like, onto... I want to get as much as I can onto this video so you guys can understand this shit, bro. Because, bro, this shit blew... I'm fucking mind-blown right now. And these Jordans, when I was walking in the fucking rain, and when I was stepping, I could hear... At the back, there's a fucking empty space right here. Clear fucking plastic right at the back of this fucking shoe. And you can call me paranoid if you want. It, this may or may not be a fact or it may not be true at all. And it, it may just be, you know, a little far-fetched. But <laughs> after what I've seen, I don't fucking think so anymore, bro. Um, so th there's a hole or something in the back of this clear space where I can see there's space inside of that fucking shoe, bro. And you know what? Yeah. She's also affiliated with some very fucking serious people, man. People that make people disappear, bro. Yeah, like the real thing, bro. Like the real thing, eh? I can't speak on it any further than that. You're going to have to use your own fucking head. It's not government, but they infiltrated every government in the fucking world. But anyways, I don't want to talk about that. Um, but, um, yeah, I seen some shit, man. And uh, it's not good. And it's not good for my fucking health or my life, you know what I'm saying? So... This, this this woman has the power to fucking make people disappear and fucking have people killed. She gets a lot of money. She spent four thousand over four thousand dollars in the last fucking in, in three weeks that I knew her. On top of the six bills she sent me. Six hundred dollars, man. Jordans and everything. Finesse, finesse money. She was spending that four grand like she had another twenty grand. Okay? And she's like, Oh, I'm almost out of money. I'm almost out of money. Thousand dollars later, another thousand dollars later, another thousand oh, I'm almost out of money. Bro, if you were almost out of money, you wouldn't be fucking spending money like that, period. Somebody's feeding you, and they're feeding you for a fucking reason. Because I'm with you right now, and I'm around her every day for a little bit. She would disappear here and there, and she did tell me at one point in time. She said, yo, if you come to my place, I might leave from 11 till 4 in the morning, and, like, I got to do some things and shit, da-da-da. She wouldn't tell me about it when I tried to infiltrate that and fucking find out what the fuck she's doing. She freaked right out on me. She's like, yeah, I'm a fucking, I'm a woman. You can't fucking, you know, you can't ask me what I do. And I'm like, bro, I'm like, I don't know how the fuck you're getting money like that. She used to be a stripper in Ottawa. She used to be a stripper in Ottawa. She has fucking family in Quebec. Yeah, okay. No further fucking comment on that. All right, so um, now that we've established this, this video might fucking possibly get me fucking hit, bro, and I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because it is what it is, bro. Like, you're not going to come and fucking infiltrate me, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fucking saying no names. That's her fucking alias. Probably ain't even her fucking real name or any of that shit, so. And who fucking cares, bro? You know what? I got to save my people. I'll be like Jesus Christ. I'll fucking get fucking hit, bro, for everybody else. Straight up. I'm not fucking scared to death. You know what I mean? God told me not to fear the one that can kill the flesh, but fear the one that can judge the soul, man. And that's God. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is. I hope you guys fucking appreciate me fucking warning you about this shit. Because you know what? She goes after rappers and targeted individuals, okay? In Ontario, in Nova Scotia, in British Columbia. And she has plans to go out there to BC 
and she's going to do the same fucking thing. So if you're out there and you're a targeted individual, you better be fucking aware that she is going to approach you in some way with some other name. I'm going to have to figure out a way that I can show you guys who she is. Or something. I don't know about that. But there's got to be a way I can describe. I don't know, man. This is fucked up. I don't want to overstep. And I'm, I don't want to fucking say too much. You know what I mean? Because that's just how it, how it fucking goes, man. I'm not that type of guy. And I don't want to be that. You know, I'm not, not. That's not my fucking way of life. You know what I'm saying? So, but I got infiltrated. And, you know, my fuck. I might disappear, bro. Straight up. You know? And if I do, it's because of that bitch. Trust me, because I've been through a lot in my life, and nobody will ever fucking get me, ever. And even through a female, I've been single for three years. People have sent women to try to infiltrate me before and use money and all that shit. She did this in a fucking way that I have never seen in my life, man. And she got in, she got out, bro. And she was in and out just like that. She told me she wanted to have a fi everything, bro. She finessed my fucking mind to the max. You know, had me fucking suicidal. Had me depressed. Had me fucking wanting to kill myself. And as soon as I got like that, she didn't care no more. But she was the one crying on the phone, begging to be in my fucking life. Okay? So, yeah. And, yeah, I'm trying to smash a mosquito that was trying to give me fucking AIDS or fucking whatever the fuck it has. Constantly under attack from every fucking thing. Anyways, um, yeah, so, whew, I'm out of breath, bro, because this is fucked up, man. I wasn't going to make this video... But it is what it is, bro. Real talk, man. Uh, this person is a real fucking hitter, bro. A real fucking hitter. A real infiltrator for real fucking gangsters and real hitters and fucking government officials or whatever the fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it is what the fuck it is. If You know, um, when I, you know, this video might either fucking allow me to live longer or fucking die quicker. I don't know, but... I don't care, you know, I've been fucking people been wanting to kill me and there's already people trying to kill me and fucking multiple fucking organizations and fucking individuals of certain fucking, you know, forces have already tried to kill me and fucking would kill me if they fucking caught up to me if I didn't have something that kills people on me, you know what I mean? Uh, no, that wasn't, uh, uh, yeah, anyways... <laughs> fucking, you know, make of what you want of it, yo, I didn't say nothing directly or indirectly, suck my dick, but anyways, um, yeah, I'm a little mind boggled right now, let me catch up, but, uh, this shit is fucking crazy, man, and, uh, yeah, like I said, so anyway, she infiltrated me, I'm gonna have to throw these shoes away, because there's a fucking hole in the back of the rubber part, and there's probably a fucking GPS tracking device, this bitch deleted everything off the internet. She no longer exists on the internet. Her fucking Instagram is gone. Her Facebook is gone. Her fucking email got changed. Her phone number got changed. Actually, she uh, texted me and called me from multiple numbers. 226-416-905. Multiple fucking numbers that she texted me and called me from. And sent me links to my phone that I didn't click because... Obviously, she was trying to hack me, or she is uh, associated with a group of individuals that set up those playloads and those fucking links to send to her for me to click for them to infiltrate me. But anyways, I already know how to do all that shit. I have uh, four years experience in ethical hacking because I learned how to do it because I needed to know how people could possibly infiltrate me. Okay? And this fucking mosquito is going to get knocked the fuck right out. <laughs> so, um... Anyways, yeah. So anyways, yeah, this bitch really infiltrated me, for real. And then she turned people against me and me against them. Went, and, you know, went on their Facebooks and, you know, she was, she's like, oh, you know, I'm going to fuck your friends and I'm going to fucking, you know, fuck your cousin and all types of shit. Fucked up shit, you know, after I told her, like, about my past and, and certain things of how females have, you know, once they're done trying to destroy me, you know what I mean, then they're fucking, then they try to destroy me by going to other people in my circle, turn them against me, or betray me, whatever, right, and uh, I've had, a, you know, everybody in my life fucking betray me, so uh, it makes me assume and also, uh, you know, take it seriously, and then I don't fucking trust anybody, you know, and, and that's where the devil wants you, is thinking everybody's against you, you know what I mean, and, you know, nine times out of ten they are, but whatever, you don't want to be fucking paranoid, and you don't want to be, you know, overstep, and you don't want to fucking, um, create something out of nothing, also, because that will just continue to build on to your problems, so anyways, this bitch knew exactly what she was doing, 
she does this. She has multiple different things. She used to be a fucking stripper in Ottawa. She, she, you know, so, okay, yeah, that's, that's a way that she was probably getting big money. But at the same time, she wasn't stripping because she was with me the whole fucking time. You know what I mean? For weeks. She, and you know what's funny is that she came to my places... I let her stay with me for weeks at a time. And then as soon as shit hit the fan for me, I ended up fucking losing my housing uh, because of an unfortunate situation with my friend uh, where he got fucking infiltrated by the system and fucking, you know, uh, I can't speak on that. But anyways, um, wow. All I got to say is holy fuck, man. Anyways, oh my God. And now she's going out to BC to go fucking infiltrate that circle of people that I talked about out there. So that way she can fucking close me out of that circle too. You know what I mean? People walking over here and then they fucking turn around and walk back. They like, fuck. And I, there's literally a thousand fucking mosquitoes trying to bite me right now. And it's really fucking making me look crazy. Get the fuck out of here, man. I don't got my sweater right now, like, fuck, I'm in shorts, bitches are trying to bite my motherfucking legs and shit. Anyway, so yeah, the, bro, this is real talk, eh? And go ahead and watch the rest of my videos. If this is the first video you're seeing and you think I'm fucked up or something's wrong with me, go check my music out, Sincere Music. Music with a Z, okay? I'm Blue Badge Verified on Facebook. Go, you, you can go on my iTunes, Spotify, Google Play. I'm well fucking put together. My music's out there. My credibility was already there long before gang stalking and before I found out I was a targeted individual. Long before all this bullshit. Now the battery's gonna fucking die. <clears throat> but anyways, yeah, so... I'm just letting you know this is what this bitch does. So she'll try to infiltrate you in that way. So just fucking be aware. She's going to have different names and different aliases. And yeah, so anyways, uh, it took a long time for me to really figure this whole thing out, man. And uh, it's really, really scary. And like I said, it's not just government. There's like the people that she's affiliated with will and can fucking hurt you. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. You know what I mean? Uh, not even the fucking cops. You know what I mean? They're fucking in on it too. Like, we already know all that shit. But anyways, um, it's really fucked up, bro. And the bitch is sloppy, you know? And she got emotional. She did get emotional. You know, I'm not going to lie. I fucked her a couple times. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, um, yeah. So she shouldn't have done that. She probably, the agreement is that she can't sleep with the target. And she can't uh, emotionally get involved in that type of a way she can pretend and fake which she did but they're probably not supposed to sleep with the enemy you know what i mean and <laughs> or it's on me the enemy like what the fuck she's the fucking enemy and they're the fucking enemies but anyways yeah so I'm not gonna lie you know i'm a human being like fuck i was single for three years i fucking smash it she's pretty fucking you know she's she's bad yo she's a bad bitch yo she used to be a stripper she's fucking fit man she's fucking bad yo like it's a trap, bro. It's a motherfucking trap. Don't fall for it. You know what I mean? Holy fuck, man. Oh, my God. Fuck. Now I got to reroute. Now I got to fucking... I told her too much shit, bro. She knows the fucking plan and everything, dog. Now I got to reroute the whole fucking thing, right? And I will, and I am. It's already been fucking done. But anyways, this shit is no joke, man. Uh, <laughs> yo. Yeah. Wow. Had me fucked up, man. Because I was finally ready, you know, to fucking build a life with somebody and, like, have a family settle down. She talked all that bullshit in my ear because she watched all my fucking videos. She knew exactly where my head was at. She knew where my heart was at. And then figured out how to infiltrate it. And then once she did that, she found my people in the circles and then my enemies that I spoke about and the ops infiltrated them to, you know what I mean, to fuck me over and betray me even more. To fucking make me want to fucking kill people. And then, you know, make threats. I I, I have uh, been charged with uttering death threats and, and violent offenses from people fucking with me. And me punching people out and fucking telling them I will fuck you up. Like, you know what I mean? Because I came from the streets. Don't fucking play with me. I don't care about fucking jail. I will fucking go to jail. I'll get out. I'll find you again and fuck you up and go back to jail. Don't fucking play with me, bro. I'm not scared of demons. I'm not scared of gangsters. I came from the street, bro. 
I'm not scared of fucking jail. I'm not scared of cops, and I'm not scared of death. There's nothing you can fucking do to me. You'll have to blow my fucking face off broad daylight. There's nothing you can do to me, bro. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm 10 steps ahead of all these motherfuckers, bro. You don't think I don't got tools? You don't think I got friends that got tools? Are you stupid? Bro, a welly check can get me a fucking burner, bro. Don't play with me. You're stupid, bro. I blend in. I can spike my hair. And then I can look like a fucking goonie, bro. Because I grew up around fucking killers and savages, bro. Don't fucking play with me. And then I can play the... Yeah, I'm a good boy. Yeah, I can do all that shit, eh? Yeah, I'm not the fucking one to play with, man. I really ain't. I'm trying to be a better person, but if people keep fucking pressing me when I'm trying to be a good person, I will turn back into a fucking demon and fucking wipe everybody out. And then fucking die. And not give a fuck. And everybody will witness it. You know, and they'll be like, holy, that kid was not fucking playing. Like, he was trying hard. They pressed him too much. The kid blew up, fucking lit everybody up, and then got clapped after. Like, Tupac, bro, on my fucking Machiavelli thug life shit. Like, I already knew they were going to come clap me, eh? I already fucking knew I was going out. Caluminati, bro. You done know. Real shit, bro. That's what I'm trying to fucking tell people, bro. This is not a joke thing, eh? It's not a game. I'm not a fucking little waste you, bro. Believe me, I can do fucking damage and I've done it. Yeah, it might be a nice... Now nah, I'm getting humble and I'm getting nice and God's fucking brink putting a heart in me so I don't fucking kill people. You know what I mean? I don't fucking knock teeth out anymore. Bro, you know how many fucking teeth sign these, bro? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> you can still see the fucking scar marks. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. Like, there's teeth marks in my knuckles, bro. I've knocked fucking teeth out, bro. I don't care. Don't play with me. Don't ever try to infiltrate me, bro. If, if you think I don't, I won't fucking do it. And I will, like, I'm scared to go to jail. Well, I don't want to go to jail. But, like, at the same time, it's like I have, it's not like I haven't done it before. And I'll fucking do it again. Go ahead, call the cops. I don't care. Report this video. Suck my dick. The RCMP already know what the fuck I'm doing. They already see me. They'll cops see my videos. They're just waiting for me to do something so they can fucking lock me up. And I don't give a fuck, man. Maybe they'll understand why now. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Fuck. Maybe they'll let me off. Fuck, man. You know what I mean? So, anyways, point being, this this chick is not a fucking joke thing. And she came and infiltrated me. She's connected to serious fucking forces. She gets a lot of fucking money. She switches locations. And she switches her names and fucking... Uh, it's not a joke. This is the real deal. This bitch is the real deal. She's 30, 40 years old. You know what I mean? She's been an OG. She's been in the game for a long time, bro. She's been fucking people up, making people kill themselves. Robbing, ripping fucking plugs, moving, pushing fucking bricks for real fucking gangsters. Like, bro, it's not a joke, eh? And then she's like, oh, I'm a targeted individual. Like, you know? Like, all right. Okay, bitch. She's a little slut, too. She's a little whore. She's a bad little bitch. That ass can fucking twerk. You done, though. That's okay. I had my little part with that, and it wasn't worth it, yo. Real top. Real talk, bro. Wasn't even worth it. Maybe a little bit, but still said you're done though. At least that. No, I'm just kidding, but yo, real talk, fuck me right up. Bitch had me fucked up until I realized what was happening. Once I realized what was happening, then I stopped letting it get to my fucking head. You know what I mean? And then I started linking people and letting them know that there's something going on here. And then we all figured it out together. But anyways, yeah, I'm just letting you guys know, watch out for that. She goes by Jay, or JJ, or Jacqueline. I give a fuck. Suck my dick. Name dropping and everything. Suck my dick. <clears throat> she ain't a gangster. She just knows gangsters. You know what I mean? So it's not like I'm fucking snitching. And it's really just, <laughs> bro, like if there was a fucking sex offender or some goof or weirdo trying to infiltrate, you know, in our circle, you don't think I'm going to be like, yo, that's the person? You know what I mean? Or like, watch out for this, just in case. Like... Yeah, because that's some goofy shit, bro. That's not G. That's not gangster. You're doing little pussy shit to infiltrate people. Uh, targeted individuals and in fucking, you know what I mean? Like, in a bitch-ass way. It's nothing gangster about it, bro. <laughs> and they're not, it's not like, you know what I mean? Like, anyways, I have to for my fucking people, man. And I got to talk about this shit, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm fucking calling the police or some shit. Like, suck my dick. Don't fucking get things twisted or out of context, yeah? Cause I know real fucking, real, real street shit, bro. You can't fucking tell me what the rules are and what the fucking rules aren't. Stupid. Anyways, just had to say my piece. There's gonna be a fucking part two and a part three, cause there is so much 
context to this fucking story, man. And every, bro, this bitch is next level. She's been fucking in Nova Scotia, Ottawa, Quebec. Fuck, now she's going to BC, Ontario. She's infiltrated Toronto, targeted individuals out there, rappers and everything. She's a little groupie, bro. She's a little whore. She gets big money, though. Somebody's feeding her, paying, bro. Somebody's putting large money in her account every fucking day. And then she's feeding me, breaking me a piece off, bro. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I don't know why. That's even scary in itself, man. You know what I mean? I, I can fucking... Sh bro, I'm telling you. I'm not lying, man. Bro. This bitch has fucking racks on racks, and I don't know how. Something's going on. But, yo, listen, man. Stay resilient. Watch out for this crazy-ass fucking bitch, man. She'll infiltrate your life, try to have you kill